Your Honor, please. Um, it is clear to this committee as well as the public in general that you figure greatly in the complaint of impeachment by Attorney Gadon. And the, the first question that naturally comes out is why? And the second is, is there bias? I think it is a natural question for everyone. So, uh, Your Honor, please forgive me if I have to ask these questions. Um, you were among those shortlisted to place Chief Justice Renatos, to replace, that is, Chief Justice Renato C. Corona in August 2012. Po, dalawa, kasama po ako ni Chief Justice Reno nag-apply. Nung nag-apply po kami, pinasubmit kami ng sampung taon salin. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, we were uh, asked by the JBC to submit uh, uh, salin ho namin uh, uh, 10 years before we applied. So, okay. 2010 uh, po yun. Dapat may salin po from 2002 up to 2000. With your respect, that was uh, justice. That was a the question is answerable, yes or no? Yes, Thank you. Uh, yes. And, uh, um, the second question, that. the second question is: At the time, you had been a member of the Supreme Court for about five years, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, you were appointed in 2007 and had been a justice of the Sandigan for several years before that. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, how then? However, uh, however, then as you said. Justice Serino was the most junior member of the Supreme Court at the time and was only a member of the High Court for only two years. That is correct. I, oh, uh, yes, yes. Okay. Now, let me ask this question. How did you feel about the appointment of Justice Serino at the time. One question. Were you disappointed? Point of order. Point of order. What is the point of order, Your Honor? Sir, uh, we have here an unprecedented appearance of a yes. justice of the Supreme Court. I enjoin and appeal to everybody to give her the respect owing to the office. That's precisely now, I gave the sir, initial. You're asking the justice how did you feel when. Uh, this is not relevant to the proceedings, sir. Whatever no. he felt. It has something to do with the question uh, you, posed you, by everyone. I, Was there a bias? Answer, may I answer the question? Oh, I believe she's... Your Honor, matagal na po akong justice. Dalumampung taon na po. Wala pong karapatan ang isang tao na maging justice kung affected ng emotions. Yaan ho ang isang bagay na hindi ko pinaiiral sa akin. Kasi ho, kung ganyan ako, na puro emotion at puro feelings, Dapat ito umalis ako sa usgado. Kaya ho, itong pag-appointee si Ren, uh, Chief Justice Sereno, ano po magagawa ko? The President appointed her. She was nominated, nominated by the JDC. What should I do? Kaya ho, siguro, ang dapat ho, tignan ninyo yung aking mga ginawa kung merong basihan. Pag wala hong basihan, uh, doon ho ninyo sabihin na ito ang aking mga ginagawa ay dahil lang sa aking uh, emotion. Would we be... siguro, ay kaya nga ho, ready ako, nandito lahat ng mga dokumento para ipakita at ipaliwanag bakit ko ginawa ang mga ginawa ko. I cannot stand idly by when the power of the Supreme Court, the collegial authority of the Supreme Court under the Constitution is being undermined. And when our decisions uh, reach by the collective wisdom of the justices of the Supreme Court are being is are being uh, set aside or change. I should I should speak up. I, I, I what kind of justice am I if I just accept what is happening that is not in accordance with the Constitution and the law? So I think what you should do. You're not. I think uh, what you please, should. Please uh, contain your emotions. No. Uh, mm. Sabi nga po ni. Uh, Justice De Castro, walang uh, place yung emotions dito sa ating ginagawa. Ang hinahanap po natin is the fitness. And uh, I'd like to uh, again point out to, Cong uh, to Congressman uh, Rocamora, si uh, Justice De Castro is not an issue here dahil siya po ay resource person. Ang, the real issue in this impeachment proceeding is the fitness 
of the Chief Justice to continue holding public office. So if we can just focus on this issue and not divert the issue to anywhere, eh, may mas ma-accomplish po tayo dito sa impeachment proceeding. Okay. So, uh, can, 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 can we please uh, go to another point, uh, Mr. Uh, Congressman Rocamora? Just one question on that point. Uh, talking about emotions. Were you emotional? Were you not emotion, emotional? Uh, emotional when Mr. you Chair, allegedly Mr. Chair. Panglas, Mr. Chair. the I would Chief like to Justice? Be what, is the, what is the point of order? Well, um, with all due respect again to Congressman Rocamora, I, there is already the ruling of the Chair that we should be relevant to all the questions, especially so that uh, we're dealing with one of the highest officials of the judiciary. In fact, uh, for all we know, since time the since the very beginning, the good justice has been referring to documents and other evidences. So may, may I just request again uh, at this juncture, Mr. Chair, considering there was already a ruling of the chair and as observed by the majority leader, may we, may we advise our equally good and a good friend, Congressman Rokomora, to please refrain from addressing such uh, uh, bias or insinuation as to bias and some other uh, matters of emotion which are not actually relevant to this proceeding, Mr. Chair. Thank, thank, thank you. What, you. what rule did I violate here? Thank you. Uh, um, I'd like to what, what rule is violated here? Oh. Point of order. Well, uh, Mr. Chair, if, um, well, of course, I, all I of us are here, but then uh, if uh, we are being questioned as to the uh, matter being violent is the right of the witness, uh, of course, to to be, of course, to be accorded the due respect. Uh, and in fact, yesterday it was uh, the ruling again of the chair that all of us are reminded that if ever we should be actually thankful to the Supreme Court for giving us this uh, priority and uh, the respect accorded to. Yeah, according to the to the House of Representatives, because they are cooperative with this proceeding, as we perform our constitutional mandate. Okay, uh, and Honor. then yes, if there is a, a particular provision under the internal rules, especially the impeachment rules of the, uh, the House of Congress, may we refer to for point of information uh, information of our good Congressman uh, Rocomora. Under Section 7, the House may, upon proper petition, provide adequate protection to a complainant or witness if it's shown that he is in jeopardy of uh, still participating in this impeachment proceeding. Um, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, another point of information. Uh, uh, okay, uh, the Chair will make a ruling. Uh, uh, before that, uh, uh, for Chair, ma uh, there is a point of order, uh, uh, and uh, the uh, the uh, Chair needs to rule their own. Uh, if you have another point of order, uh, you raise it at the proper time. But uh, uh, in the meanwhile, uh, uh, Section 128 of the rules of the House uh, sets the standard set for questions. And the question shall be based on facts and asked to obtain information or press for action. No question shall be A, argumentative, B, suggest its own answer. J, repeat a question previously asked and answered. And therefore, uh, these matters have already been asked and answered, and this uh, uh, somehow the questions are argumentative and does not call for facts. So uh, uh, the uh, the uh, point of order is uh, well taken.